Hi, I'm Wei Hong, an assistant professor at the Department of Biological Chemistry and the Department of Neurobiology at UCLA. Recent advances in single-cell RNA sequencing have offered unprecedented power to reveal heterogeneous cell populations that could be linked to distinct functions. We were wondering if there could be a way to link diverse cell populations and normal cell types to specific behavioral functions in a systematic manner. It has been known for a long time that the expression of immune early genes, or IEGs, could be rapidly and transiently induced by various cellular stimuli, including synaptic activity. Thus, the expression of IEGs has been widely used to map neural activation patterns and to functionally label ensemble of activated neurons. If we could measure the transcription activation of IEGs at the level of single cells, we could potentially combine single cell gene expression profiles with single cell activation profiles to systematically understand the function of individual cells. Furthermore, single cell profiling of acute transcriptomic changes will be of broad value to the study of diverse biological questions, such as studies on molecular and cellular responses to tissue injuries and immunological stimuli. However, this has been hampered by a long-standing issue in transcriptional profiling of dissociated cells, specifically the transcriptional perturbations that are artificially induced during conventional whole cell dissociation procedures. This dissociation process has been shown to cause cell injury, cellular stress, and cytotoxicity, all of which could cause gene expression changes. This can not only mask endogenous acute gene expression changes that are truly elicited by physiological stimuli, but may also confound characterization of baseline transcriptional profiles. To address this issue, we developed AXSeq, which combines single-cell RNA-seq with a new single-cell preparation method. We apply a transcription inhibitor during dissociation procedure, which effectively eliminates artificially induced transcriptional perturbation in both neurons and non-neuronal cells. We apply this method to the medial amygdala, a brain region important for the modulation of emotional processing and social behavior. Using AXIC, we generate the first detailed molecular taxonomy of the medial amygdala cells, including 16 transcriptionally distinct neuronal subtypes, as well as several non-neuronal cell types. We then tested whether our method could detect IEG gene expression induced by a physiological stimulus in vivo, such as seizure. The conventional method elicited strong activation of FOS and other IEGs in control animals, precluding the detection of cell activation induced by seizure. In contrast, when we suppressed the artificial expression using the inhibitor, IEG expression in control animals was drastically lower. This made it possible to detect the IEG expression specifically induced by seizure. Interestingly, different cell types appear to display distinct IEG activation profiles following seizure, with different IEGs showing varying degrees of changes across cell types. This demonstrated the ability of AXI to robustly capture acute gene expression changes in both neurons and non-neuronal cells. Seizure is a very strong stimulus. But most of the behaviors that we are interested in elicit neural activations on a smaller scale. Would our method be sensitive enough to detect such changes? To test this, we applied AXIC to detecting neuronal activation following acute stress. We found that out of the 16 neuronal subtypes, acute stress preferentially activated two subtypes both of which express the neuropeptide gene CCK. The observation of preferential activation of CCK-positive neurons by acute stress is particularly interesting given the previously reported role of CCK in the modulation of anxiety-related behaviors. Together, we believe that our method, ACT-Seq, opens a new way for linking single-cell gene expression profiles 
with single cell activation profiles in diverse complex tissues.